I just wanted to quickly make a like a minute video talking about Bumblefoot and how it's caused. So you know those hamster wheels with like wire mesh um I'll insert the pictures in the um editing but yeah you know those wheels or if I put them um when a hamster runs on them for a long time their paws because because when they run on their real one I don't know if you would see those mesh wheels aren't big enough because you're only like 4.5 to 6 inches which may fit a rubber Vorovsky or a baby baby dwarf but it still isn't enough it doesn't meet the bare minimum which a bare minimum it's different for each hamster but a bare minimum for a serene is an 8 inch still quite small because my serenes are now with genetics and ethical breeding bigger um and then so i reckon you can tell them but we'll probably we'll, we'll, we'll save them so fast it's like people say six inch for them but i think definitely at least an eight inch for them and then the dwarf eight um I'd recommend a, um, what's well hard, I think a 10 inch would suit them. And also these are all the wheel sizes that I know of for a hamster, so 4.5, 5, 5, 5, 5 inch, 5.5 5 inch, 6 inch, and then 8 inch, 10 inch, 12 inch, um, 11 inch, 12 inch. And then, and then like rats, mice, and sugar gliders and things, they have bigger ones. I don't, I don't even know if rats have wheels, I think. I mean, he helps this, but yeah. So when they run on the wheel, it's on their paw pads. It's not, it's, it's just gonna like create bumps. So I'll insert a picture there. That's what it looks like. And because they've got to constantly walk, on their like paws constantly it's gonna hurt a lot so yeah and bumblefoot is just like an infect it's like an infection it looks really wrong but yeah i'll leave some information maybe i'll do a video like more in depth of it so yeah bye hamsters oh because I'm just going to have to end the video. I already ended the video. Did I? Okay, whatever. <laughs>